Ya. <laughs> Mama. Get it, baby. There you go. Mhm. Mm ah, good girl. <laughs> Say bye to mommy. Say bye. Bye, bye baby. <laughs> Say bye. I'm All right, I'll miss you to see you when you get back. Okay. <laughs> Took over the house, yeah? You too. Right. Bye. bye. Take care. Baby, don't miss me too much, okay? Okay? Bye. Mm -hmm. I don't finish everything for house. It's in me and I make I follow you go up, pack all that clothes and your own. Come wash, finish. I go prepare go market. Um, what you do is get ready and come collect the money to go to the market. I'll do the laundry with the washing machine, okay? Ah, madam, you go help me wash the clothes. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Joan. Valen, I'm sorry. That's because I have not um, discussed this with my husband to know if he will be attending. So, if your husband is not attending, you're not attending your cousin's birthday party? Of course, I won't. What? Nancy, I have told you that you do no longer have a life outside marriage. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, like, my life is now fused into my husband. It's not know what marriage is all about. So, what if there's no marriage anymore? By God's grace, there will always be marriage. <sighs> I didn't say there will be no marriage. But Nancy, you wrapping your life around one man. It doesn't make sense. You should... <sighs> okay, where are you by the way? Hello? Hello? Hello, are you there? She hung the phone on me because I said something about her husband. <sighs> this is not it. What is she doing? She has to have a life of her own. Yo. So we that don't have a husband, we should not go and die, Abby. Hmm. Nancy. Nancy.
and ever. Everything to look. Yes. Amen. Ma? I asked you to set the table for three. Yes, ma. So what is this? Um, my head, you. But as I'm not considered the third person, now I can't confuse. Amen. Ma? Amen. Ma? Do what I asked you. Yes, ma. Sorry, ma. Somebody's knocking. Go and get the door. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Yeah, thank you. Where's everybody? Our guy is in the room. Madam is in the kitchen. Uh, Alfredo. Hey, handy, my <laughs> man. <laughs> Look at you. Let's see. Welcome to you. Please, Alfredo. Thank you. I got lucky not to be called to go for a weekend tour of our facilities. So I want to make the best out of this weekend and spend quality time with my family. Oh, you're lucky you have your family here with you. Mm. You see, I thought of traveling to Botaco to see my family, but I got oh. so tired. Maybe I'll do that within the week. Sure. Yeah. Do you care for anything to drink? Well, let the drink wait. Lunch is served. Please come to the table. Good afternoon, Alfred. Good afternoon. Lunch is served. All right. <laughs> I understand hotels in Abuja give their customers condoms to help fight the spread of HIV AIDS. Yes, uh, most hotel does that. And I think um, it's a nice idea. Yeah. yeah. What did you do with the one they gave you the last time you visited Abuja? I left it in the room. Of course, I don't need it for anything. Not at all. You know, I, I, I have a beautiful wife, an angel in human form. So if I'm in the mood, I'll just travel to Buttercourt, make love and come back to my base. <laughs> <clears throat> that sounds nice. Yeah. Why did you collect one from Andy? Excuse me? Collect one from Andy? I did not collect anything from him. Of course, I, I, I had mine, so why should I collect his? Do you mean you did not use yours and you did not collect anyone from Andy? But I just... Why are these questions? Nothing. Thank you. You better be careful. Be careful of what you do. Ah, you better be careful. Be careful of what you say. Ah, you better be careful. Be careful of steps you take. Don't you dare touch me. Honey, it's not what you think. I am sure there's a mix-up. A mix-up? You have been lying and cheating on me all this while and you call that a mix-up? I have never cheated on you and I have never lied. Did you expect Alfred to admit that he took the condom? Yes! He would have told me if he did it. At most, he would beg me not to tell his wife. Andy, the earlier you tell me the woman you've been cheating on me with, the better for this marriage. Who is the woman? Honey, there is no woman. Liar! 
Why do you keep lying, you cheating bastard? Upon everything I've dedicated to this marriage, this is how you choose to pay me back? I hate you. I hate everything you represent. Don't touch me. Hello? Hello, Nancy. I need you to cheat I need you to cheat on me. Can you please calm down? Stop crying. So that I can hear what you're saying. I'm not crying. Nancy? Stop crying. Stop crying. I can't even hear one word you're saying. I need you to cheat on me with another woman. I need you to about it. How did you know he's cheating on you with another woman? I found condoms in his pocket. And what are you doing in his pocket? I wanted to take his clothes from around here. And then I decided to search his pocket for the valuable papers like you know how he them. And then I found condoms in his pocket. Have you asked him? Yes. I asked him. And he said the condoms were given to him by the hotel they stayed in at Abuja. When I asked him about the missing condom, he said his friend collected it. I called his friend and his friend denied it, which means that he used the condom. He denying it? Yes. It's okay. Just calm down, okay? Just leave it at that. Don't do anything rash until I speak with your husband. No matter just do whatever it is you want to do because I am getting tired. I cannot stand the cheating and lying husband. Can you please calm down? Don't jump into conclusion yet. Until I speak with him. Okay, okay. This fool. I don't even know what to say or do at this point now. What do you think you're doing? I just called my mother to inform her. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm not going to stop until you look at me. Look at me. How long have we been married for? We have been married for six good years. Why would I cheat on you now? There is always a starting point. Maybe you've decided to start. I did not cheat on you because I don't have a reason to. You are an embodiment of all I want in a woman, and I love you. Believe me when I say I did not cheat on you. Andy, I am willing to forgive you. If you can tell me the woman you've been cheating on me with. For the 20th time. I did not cheat on you, and I never will. I swear. Liar. I'm not lying. Excuse me. Baby. Excuse me. Babe. Baby. Baby.
serious begin deal. Just serious begin deal. Uh -huh. There is fire on the mountain. Uh -huh. What happened? <coughs> Oga and madam, did you get serious water for you? Serious one. Wait till the day. Why are you like this? At the time you see Oga and madam, they get serious begin. You did tell me the day. Must everything be joke? Okay. I Oga and madam, they quarry better quarry for up. Uh -huh. Now how you come now? You did come the day. It's okay, I beg. I did tell you say that they quarry better quarry now. I can't hear madam. The phone person they talk for phone. It be like saying that your mama they talk to. Mm -hmm. Come they tell your mama say your husband Oga they carry another woman. Say they cheat on her. She can't talk. Say she don't tire for the marriage. Say she know they marry again. As I they talk to you, she they cry. They make the call. I ain't be say the matter serious. Wait, do this way tell me now. Is they serious? She can't talk. They talk like this. So I know they serious. Or I know they sure. Now I come they tell you. Who give me that kind of mind? I they tell you what's in the happen. Hey. But that one no be the cuckoo. Oga come they deny. Say you no do anything. Say you no know, carry any woman. Say you never cheat on madam since when you marry her. Now madam say okay. Let me accept. Say you know they cheat on me. What thing condom? Condom do for your pockets. Condom? Yes, condom. Condom. As madam see condom for her pockets. Now he conclude say Oga they cheat on her. Hey, hey. Um, you know say this thing now open and close case. <laughs> Everything's there. What if now me you? I go still deny him. Yes, now I go deny him because she no catch me on top of the matter. Yes. Do you know they are very stupid? As in, you don't have common sense. You don't have. If they ask me whether evidence they. Which other evidence do you need? They say, Madam, see condom for her pockets. Three, one condom, one they miss. If they they ask me evidence they. Eh? Now now I know say on our way be men. All of them are the same. We are just the up and down. The shorter you people are, the worse you people becomes. Excuse me. Yes, I just listen up, listen up, Nasi. Yes, just just listen up. What what you are telling me is very unpleasant to my ears because infidelity is not known in our family. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm only saying let us know drawn conclusions until we get to the root of it. Yes. It's alright. Just 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 stay where you are. I will be with you shortly. Yes. Susan, I don't make her to eat finish. She there a room now to sleep. Have you been listening to my discussion with my husband this afternoon? No, madam. I beg. I know they put here for waiting no consign me. Oh, now so they train me for our house. What were you discussing outside few minutes ago with John? Madam, not you know. Now John, he call me. Come they ask me whether I don't cook finish. Say they hungry. Where where? Now I go and Saram. John is always calling you. And you always go into his room whispering, Amen. Madam, no be like that. Now my work I just they do. I just they free with everybody. Eh? As I they take care of him, like say, as my brother where he be. You are taking care of him as your brother. Are you from the same mother? No, ma. Are you from the same mother? No, ma. Amen. Ma. Amen. Ma. Be very careful. Be very careful. Yes. Get away. Thank you, ma. Yes, I am in the house. I just came outside to take your call. Andy, my man. I've not had rest of mind after that incident. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry for whatever I've cost you. The deed has already been done. You don't need to worry ahead over this. So what's the situation of things now? It's all heated up. She's been calling her relatives and reporting to them and they've been calling me, and all I've been doing is explaining myself. I'm sure it'll blow up very soon. It's all right, I have a court case to attend. I'll talk to you later. Mm, sure.
Uncle, good evening. Andy. Good evening. And how are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you too? Please, have a seat. Sorry, um, do you care for anything? No. That is not the reason I'm here. Andy, I know we did not lose the others. It would be abominable if what I'm hearing is true. I understand, Uncle. Nancy. Sir. You've been living with your husband for the past six years. You should know what he is capable of doing. You should not live by mere speculations uh, and suspicions. Uncle, I understand you. Let him tell you the truth if he can't tell me. Andy. Sir. I want you to tell me the truth. Have you been cheating on your wife? No, I haven't. It is true she found condoms in my pocket. It was given to us in a hotel where we have our conference in Abuja. I usually throw them away, but a friend who happens to be the company's lawyer asked to take one for mine, and I forgot to discard it. And he came here and denied it. Are you expecting him to admit it when you are his wife's best friend? It's all right, Andy. Nancy, you will live with your husband for the past six years. Has he been promiscuous? Not to my knowledge. Maybe that he covered his tracks very well, except this time. Andy, can you apologize to me? Uncle, in all sincerity and respect for you, my family, and God, I am innocent. Nancy, can you give your husband the benefit of doubt. He has just sworn. I will only give him the benefit of the doubt if he confesses. That is all I ask. And that is what I have been telling you. I have not cheated on you. Liar! Liar! This is the same thing you say that gets me angry. This is the exact thing you keep saying. Nancy, please, please, please. Just, just, just calm down. Please. It's okay, please. Nothing. Please, can you excuse us? Please. Andy. Sir. I want you to look at me eyeball to eyeball. I want you to talk to me as a man. I can help you persuade your wife. Are you saying that everything you told me is the truth? Uncle, how can one be telling the truth and be believed? It breaks my heart to know that my wife of six years cannot give me benefits of the doubt when I've never cheated on her. I believe you. Uh, I have something I need to ask you. I'm listening. I want you to look at me while I talk. Babe. Who is? You know, I don't remember the last time we had a quarrel. We've had a very sweet, loving marriage to the envy of our friends. 
with the way this is going, is going to give them the opportunity to laugh at us. Can we please put this behind us and move forward? I will put this behind us. If only you will tell me the truth. Who have you been cheating on me with? Babe, there is no woman. Look at me. I did not cheat. I have never cheated and I never will. There you go again. There is no woman for God's sake. Do you want me to lie for peace to reign? You are a liar. And I hate liars. Stay the hell away from me. Babe, don't be like this. serious or you were just pulling my legs? Pulling your legs? I'm dead serious. That's what happened. Okay. What if your husband was telling the truth? He's lying. His friend would not lie against him. Maybe he was protecting his ass? At the detriment of his friend? Besides, if his friend is cheating, why won't he? They said, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. No, no, no. That's not true, Bips. You know it. You and I, for instance, we've been friends for the past 15 years. And we are nothing alike. We are like right and left. <laughs> you know it. And yet, we are still best of friends. See, you see all these men. They are just the same. I keep telling you, eh? you can't trust the man with your whole heart. Six years of our marriage, and I gave everything. I warned him not to cheat, that if he does, I will not forgive him. Now he's not only cheating, but lying about it. If only he can just say the truth, this whole thing will just go away. You see, you see why I stay on my own? Because I don't believe in this whole bullshit called love. I don't. Please, let's leave that aside. Um, what are you going to eat? Or I should get you something to drink? <laughs> no, girl. You can't be fine. You need to drink something to clear off your head. Because right now, I know your head is so full. You need to drink something. I have to get you something to drink. Seriously. Wow. Madam, Madam Tango say you come back save you. Why? Madam, you don't need to. Now you you must be a fool. Uh, Madam, you are a fool, Dere. Where are you? 
I have been talking to your husband. He said you are not home. Look at the time. 11 o'clock, close to midnight. A married woman is walking up and down. Where are you? Yeah, I just went to see some friends. Nancy, is it time to move about visiting friends and collecting negative advice? Or time to go home to resolve your marital issues? Nancy, listen. Wherever you are now, start running home. Now! I'm already home. Nancy. Just take life easy. I have spoken to your husband and he has explained everything to me. There is no marriage that is made in heaven. As you work your, your marriage out, that is how you will enjoy it. My daughter, please put everything behind you and go back to your husband. Alright? I'll come to the city to visit you and your husband by the weekend. Okay, good night. Bye. Your shoe or your khaki? Just drop it in here, okay? Okay, ma'am. Hey, hey, come. Where are you going? If I drop this shoe and get out. Yes, Where are you coming from at this time of the night? It's past 11 p.m. What if something happened to you? Well, as you can see, nothing happened to me, and nothing will happen to me. I demand to know where you're coming from. Why do you want to know? Are you afraid I have started cheating on you? So long as I am your husband, I need to know where you're coming from, especially coming home at this time of the night. Well, you lost that right. When you started cheating and lying about it. I am not done talking. I'm done talking. Nancy, come back. Nancy! Nancy, I'm talking! Mm -hmm. I am talking to you and you're working out for me. What is wrong with you? Walk out to me when I'm talking. Where are you coming from? Are you ready to tell me the woman you've been banging? So long as you're in this house, let this be the last time you come home by this time. Else, what will you do? Huh? What will you do? <laughs> okay. I already know what you're going to do. You're going to bring in that woman you've been cheating on me with to this house. You lying, cheating bastard. Like your church family pretending lot. Now you listen to me. You can believe whatever you like or do whatever you want. But don't you ever insult me or my family again. And if I do, what will you do? Huh? What? Are you going to beat me? Are you going to beat me if I do that? Like I said, like your family pretend. <laughs> and this should be your last warning. Never insult my family again.
What did you say happened? <laughs> Oga, as you carry Suzanne, go school. Now you know reach uh, one minute. Now you madam tell me make her go carry Suzanne, come back. I can't obey her. Come carry Suzanne, come back. She can't tell me make her help her to find her khaki. We can't find the whole house. Me will know where we will see the fine khaki. We no not see her. Now she can't bring her phone. Come begin call all these uh, Taizi people. Uba. Uh, hey, Uba, Uba. I can't, be, I can't be wonder what to make madam they call Uba people. Eh? When did all this happen? Oga, you never reach one hour. You never reach one hour. Now you should call all that me. Say, make I go call John. Make two of us go carry all her bags where they inside. Plus Suzanne own. Say, I can't answer, madam. This one where they carry back. You say, make I mind my business before she go slap my face. Now I can't keep quiet though. She can't follow hey, the Yeah, yeah, yes. It's okay. It's okay. You can go inside. Thank you, sir. Yes, um, hello? 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 Hello, Andy? Sorry, I cannot hear you. The place is so nice. I mean, hey, Keke. When I get home, I will call you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, oh. When I get home, I will call you. Okay. Now this is going too far. It's going too far. How will you leave your house with your daughter? What is this now? Andy has to prove to me that I can trust him. And that he's not a Oh, please stop this. You both should resolve this matter. <laughs> Nancy, don't spoil your marriage because of this. Please, I beg you. Why is everybody begging me like I'm the problem here? Let Andy do the needful and everything will be fine. Hello, Mama. Hello, Juliet. Andy just called me. She said your sister moved out of her matrimonial home. And she took Andy's child along with her. Have you heard? Yes, Mama. She's right here. She's with me. Why? Why would you encourage her to leave her husband's house? Uh -uh, Mama, why will you say a thing like this now? Why will you say a thing like this? Eh? Mama, she called me from the office that she come and open the door for her. I was wondering what was going on. Okay, I had to just come open. I had to sneak out of the office to come and open the door so I will find out exactly what the problem problem is. Give her the phone. Take. I don't want to answer that your stupid greeting. Why did you leave your husband's house? Andy slapped me last night. He slapped you. He slapped you and they slapped you. Why did he slap you? Eh? Were you sitting on your own? As a madman, he came and slapped you. Listen, Nancy, get ready to go back to your husband's house. So you don't get too comfortable in your sister's house. Did I leave my own husband's house? Anyway, I'm coming to the city by this weekend. These children, eh? These children. Please, oh, me, I, I don't understand this thing. Oh. I don't I don't just understand this. I have to sneak out of the office just to come and come and open the door for you. I, I don't like this. Oh. Better resolve this your marriage. Oh. Resolve this your marriage. Resolve this marriage. I don't understand. You better be careful. Be careful of what you do. Ah. Why won't these children? Don't you know that marriage is patient? Be careful of what huh? you say. Ah. You better be careful, be careful of steps you take. Ah, you better be careful, be careful of who you trust. The heart of man is unpredictable. Some people we call our friends are our enemies. The heart of man. It's deeper than the ocean. Good afternoon, Juliet. 
Your sister moved out with my daughter. Is she at your place? Yes, she called me from the office a while ago. Um, she said I should come open the door for her, which I just did, and I'm on my way to the office. I was just about to call you. Okay, thank you. Um, hello. Andy. Yes? Please. I want you both to settle whatever it is, your differences you have, because of your daughter. Whatever it is can be sorted out, please, okay? I am doing everything possible to solve this matter, okay? All right. Hello? Hello, Andy, where are you? Why are you asking me where I am? What, 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 what do you want? Huh? Where do you think I will be? I'm just coming out from your office. I didn't tell anybody your whereabouts. What happened? Are you all right? Everything is happening. How can I be all right after everything that happened? I, it's hell, man. But you, you, you promised to convince yourself you're innocent. I would have, if not for your denial. She got home very late last night and we had an argument. It got physical and I slapped her. This morning, she moved out. What? Oh, it's okay. Um, where is she now? She's at her sister's place. Uh, you know what, Andy? I am, I am really sorry for what I've caused you. I think I am selfish. I, I'm selfish because I just considered my marriage. I didn't consider your own marriage. I am sorry for all the things I have put you through, the damage I've caused to marriage, your happiness, and everything. I, I am truly sorry, please. Um, look, Alfred, uh, I am doing everything possible to solve this. I don't want you to jeopardize your marriage, too. You know what? Let me just get my hair straight and then uh, I'll call you back. We'll probably meet in the evening. I need to make a call to the office. Suppose they sleep on duty. You, you know, say I don't sleep well last night. Me, I know say you don't sleep well last night. How you go sleep well when you don't carry that granola cellar? Finish yourself last night. Granola cellar? Mm -mm. God forbid. Yeah? What you are concerned me with that granola cellar? Put it now. Why I don't say my touch light there on you? Mm. Yeah? No, be only touch light. Now headlights. <gasps> see, eh? all of now we be men. We be the same. In fact, the short ones like you, now then worse. Lie, lie, now you fool in the mouth. Everywhere. No be you. I catch on top that granola cellar. You didn't hear the thing you say, you and granola cellar. I bet I carry your food, wait till you consign me. Yeah, I beg you, no use what I talk the other day, come they use and they the verse for me. You might not say a joke and a joke. I know they lie. Eh, <laughs> come. I bet you give it now, I won't ask you. What's in that? The thing don't they bother me since I don't they think I'm not asking me I voice I'm out. See, as madam take pack come out for this house, it makes sense. Honestly, she no try at all. Baby. She don't forget say if she come out for this house, she don't give room for another cookie to fall in. Mm -hmm. eh? she no go feed that now. She no even try at all. She no try, and you know say organa go feed do that kind of thing. Me and you know say organa gentleman. Not true talk, you talk oh. mm -hmm. because me I don't think come since I don't reason that thing. I can't see as Oga take the bag, madam. I know say Oga no do that thing. That day, a day inside Susan's room, mm -hmm. they hear as they talk. You need to see as Oga day, they swear with in life, they tell madam say, you know, do that thing. But madam no believe her. Madam, they call and lie, lie, say in the line. Say na that Oga friend. Eh, uh, friend. Eh, uh, say na him talk with him be true. Eh? Well, that yeah, was not my fight. business, so. I must say fight the result now. Fight most result. The way where uh, madam they talk, pray, pray. You know, see, she didn't talk, and I'm not going to use, use and beat them. She can't fight them. Mm. That one is the truth now. But that one is my business. So, you know, say me, I want to convince you. Say me, I'm dead genuine, and they may you give me a chance. Yeah. 
John. Give me a chance now. I reserve one granola seller for your eye. Yeah, yeah. Which cutting be this one now? Eh? Oh, poor Tato Donata. Now you still carry for money. You are not a joke. Are you a stalker? Okay, Georgina, go eat your food. Mm -hmm. Easy. Well, finish your food, yeah? Good girl. <laughs> um, I came to apologize. We had a fight and I slapped her. Oh. Honey, I am truly sorry. Secondly, I came to take you and Susie back home. So please, get your bags and let's go. Oh, that's so beautiful. <coughs> that's really nice. Are you ready to tell me who you've been cheating on me with? What are you talking about? Your husband is here to take you home. What is wrong with you? For the millionth time. There is no woman. I have never cheated on you. When did I become this liar that you can't believe? And what truth are you looking for that supersedes our love, our home, and our marriage? You're very eloquent. But when you're ready to tell me the truth, I'll come home. Nancy, what is wrong with you? Nancy! Baby. Did you feel okay? Has he gone? Yes, he has. Nonsense. Um, where is Susie? She went with him. What? Andy took my daughter with him? Nancy! Go inside. Nancy! Nancy! Nancy, what is wrong with you? What exactly is your problem? Why would he take my child with him? Do you also realize that that child is his too? Fine, I'm going to get my baby. My goodness, what is wrong with you? Please! Nancy! Nancy! You've got 
Mr. Bunkers, what is your problem? So you are serious about going to... You are serious about going there? Yes, I am serious about going to get my child. Excuse me. Just excuse me! Can you just calm down? Relax. Do you think you will go there and Andy will surrender your daughter just like that? Why did you allow him to take my child? Why didn't you notify me or better still stop him from taking her? Stopped him? Seriously? I should have stopped him from taking his own child? Can you hear yourself? Please, calm down. Mama is coming in tomorrow. When she comes, we will sort this whole thing out. Please, I beg you. Please. Ha. Oh, Agumani. Hmm. Nancy, now that I'm here, everything will be resolved. My daughter, there is no marriage that does not have issue. But what we want in a marriage is understanding and trust. Trust is the benefit of the doubt you give to your partner. And forgiveness is for peace to reign in your marriage. Mama, it's not like I don't want peace to reign in my marriage. I want to have confidence and be happy. Nancy, no marriage is made in heaven. Thank you. No husband is perfect. That is to say, no human is perfect. We are there. We fall there. But that forgiveness I said earlier is what carries us on. Please, my daughter, I advise you. Let this matter die. Mama, why is everybody telling me about making peace like I'm the villain here? I am not. All I ask is that Andy should tell me the truth. He should tell me the woman he has been sleeping with. That's all. If he wants me to trust him, he has to tell me the truth. That's all I ask. Mama, let me check on what I'm cooking, all right? Nancy. Nancy. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir, so where is Susie? I took her somewhere in the meantime. I don't mean to disobey you, but I don't think there's any need for me to go to that house. And I already promised myself that I won't go there until. I'll get it. Okay. 
this. Alfred! Alfred, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Who did I greet? Alfred, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Alfred and his friend. The lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 please sit down. He came to the village with him one time like that. Okay. Welcome, my son. Thank you, ma. Ah, ma. Yes. Good thing that you're here. I came in respect of the misunderstanding Nancy had with Andy. Nancy, I came to see you. I came to correct the mistake that I made when you asked about the condom you found in Andy's pocket. Okay. I was ashamed to tell the truth that very day. But having watched what my lie has cost you from afar, the pain, the sadness that has brought to your family, I decided to come up and own up. I used that condom that very day. What? I, I am sorry for the pains all this has cost you. I'm sorry, please. Hey! <laughs> Why do young men like you engage yourselves in escapades? You are capable to rule and destroy your homes, your marriages, your lives. You could get infected. But I see you can easily impregnate a girl. <laughs> and that will add more pressure to the existing pressure in your marriages, in your homes, in your lives. My son, that is not good. Look at what this one condom you used. See how he's destroying your friend's marriage. Is that what you want for them? <clears throat> Mama, wait. Alfred. Yeah. Why do you always like to be used as a scapegoat? What? How do you mean? I know Andy sent you to say this. Andy didn't send me to say this. So, what if I call your wife now to tell her what she just said and also let her know that you've been cheating on her? Wife. Go ahead and call her. If that will convince you. Then I interest you to know that I've already discussed this with my wife before coming here. Oh yes, I did. She felt bad. She cried and apologized to her. She forgave me and we decided to move ahead. Good woman. Ow! I still believe Andy put you up to this. And I agreed to risk my marriage. Can you imagine? Oh. Well, go back and tell Andy that I said I will not come back to that house until he tells me the truth. Why you will not come back to my own house? That truth you want to hear. You hear it, you don't hear it. You are not coming back to my house. I'm in my own husband's house. Go back to your husband's house. Now, what is wrong with you? Who is this leading you? Who is teaching you this wickedness? That house is my own family house. Not for you. It is for me and me alone. Well, Mama, I never said I was coming back to the village. Then you are not staying in Julia's house either. She is her own husband's house. Ah, this is not for you. I, uh, not there, not here. Go back to your own husband's house. I agree Simple. with I agree with Mama. Totally. I mean, I'm in my husband's house now. Go to your husband's house. What is this? Please go back to your husband's house, please. Please, please, please. please. I don't need any stress. Oh. 
Thank you. So, where is your sister? I guess she's sleeping. Who knows? Where are you going to? Well, I was made to understand that I can't leave you. So I'm leaving. Nancy, don't take a decision that you'll live to regret all through your life. Nancy! Nancy! Juliet. You're not, you're not saying anything. Well, what do you want me to say? I should start begging her. No, no, I won't beg her. Let's come make her mistakes. Oh God, Jayane is a very son. It will soon shine her eyes very soon. And you don't value what you have. Sometimes... I think Nancy's inexperienced with men before she got married. It's a disadvantage for her in her own marriage now. Mama. It is true. What people say that we do not value what we have until we lose it. Bam, you've said it all. This is exactly the case now. Let her make her mistake. She's an adult. Let her make her mistake. She'll resolve very soon. I'm allow her. Let her be. Do you want to lose? As for me, I'm very hungry. Aguna go. Miko, I'm very hungry. You don't have time for this. She a child. Better be careful. Be careful of who you trust. The heart of man is unpredictable. Some people we call our friends are our enemies. The heart of man. It's deeper than the ocean Some people we call our friends are our enemies Do not shatter the mirror Or tamper the treasure you have You better be careful Hello! Be careful of what you do Do you remember me? You again? Are you stalking me? I am not Honestly, but if that would make me be your friend, then I'm guilty. Ah, come on, I won't bite you. I'm just trying to help. Of course, you're safer with me than those criminal drivers that will think you just come back from abroad. Ah. See, I, what is I, I, I will take you wherever you're going to, okay? Let me help you. And I say thank you. And I want to help you. Come on. I will take you wherever you're going to, I promise. Please. You know, nature has a way of exerting itself and also human. The last time I saw you was at the supermarket. You didn't talk to me. Shortly after you had a flat tire, I was the one that came to your rescue, yet you were still unfriendly. Look at you now, by the roadside with a luggage, a very risky thing to do. Wait, must I die like Christ before you believe and see me as a friend? <laughs> You're fine. 
Ah. My name is Austin. I'm into oil and gas business. I'm single. What's your name? My name is Nancy and I'm married. Wow, you're married? Well, I've been looking for a married woman friend who could teach me the ethics of marriage. Yeah. So which way? New layout. I'll take you there. Why are you always frowning? Do you usually leave your basket of smiles at home? Take you to rule it out. Where are you? Okay, okay, okay. I'll meet you up. I'll meet you up then. Thank you. Um, this is Austin. He helped me get here. Austin, this is my friend Joan. Austin, thank you so much. You're such Joanne. a gentleman. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, wait, so we go inside. Mm -hmm. Austin, please, I know you wouldn't mind. Just help us bring the bag inside. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Let's go, babes. It's okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's calm down. Thank you, Austin. Um, Austin, so sorry for keeping you waiting. I was only trying to settle my hand. Hope you're okay. Oh, do you want something to eat? No, don't bother on my account. Yeah. Um, what about taking new ladies out this evening? How no, 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 no. Yes, I think 7 p.m. would be a perfect time. 7 yeah. p.m. Yeah, wow. you do. That would be a perfect time for me. All right. I think I have to run away now. Hmm? Cool. I will see you guys later. All right? Yeah, 7 p.m. Nancy, I will see you later. Okay. I will see you later, John. Yeah. Bye, Nancy. Then what's the meaning of all this? Are you trying to hook me up or what? Nancy, this is what you need right now to clear off your head. You need one or two links to forget what you've been through in the past. So, let's go in there, unpack your bags and get yourself ready this evening. Let's go look for what you wear. I'm not going anywhere this evening. Nancy, you're going out with me? That is too cute. Now why are you doing this? Please, as for me, you're going with me. Let me go sort out what you wear. <laughs> I was actually surprised the way she argued. And I asked myself, what exactly does she want? <laughs> so, she actually thinks I put you up to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. You know what? I have decided not to bother myself about Nancy anymore. My brother, I have tried. Check him now. I have begged, I have done everything to let her know that I did not cheat. If she comes back home, fine. If she doesn't come, I'm cool. I have sent my daughter to my sister's place, so I have nothing to worry about. My guy, you actually called your wife to tell her that you cheated. Of course I did. It wasn't the first or second time it happened. She was only surprised that I called to confess. Mm. 
I begged her that I wasn't going to do it again. Really? Of course. You see, I... She cried. Sure. She cried, but she forgave. So I don't know why Nancy would do the same. Why won't she forgive you? I think your wife is used to it. So she has come to understand that being cheated on shouldn't be the end of the marriage. Nancy has never experienced that before, so it's it's really hard on her. Mm. Yeah. So sorry, my friend. Mm. Sorry about that. Mm. I'm good. <sighs> nice drink. I like it. You better like it. Because it's very expensive. <laughs> wow! That was a good outing, you know. <sighs> ah, wow! Nancy, I've been in this town for how many years and I didn't know such joints exist. Mm. That place is so classy and I love their food. Yeah. I loved the atmosphere and I enjoyed myself. Yeah. So, what do you think about Austin? He's a likeable person and he made me laugh. So, are you going to give him a chance? A chance for what? A chance to give you the sunlight that you need. Nancy, you've been through a whole lot in the past. Yes. Um, what you had with your husband, the whole trust, you dedicated your time, everything. I know because of that right now, you're not thinking of giving another man a chance. But every man is not like Andy. Austin is a very cool guy. So I think you should give him a chance to prove his love for you. Well, I know what I need right now and that is to take a shower. Nancy, you need a man in your life. So you have to give Austin a chance. Andy. It's about two weeks now. Your wife left your house. To an unknown destination. It is possible ideas would have been entering your head, whether this or that. Your friends would have been advising you to leave your wife. My son, I beg you, don't listen to them. It is just a temptation and I believe it will pass. Nancy, my daughter, is just being childish. And I believe she will come around. Just give her a little time. And everything will be fine. Because this way now, she will learn the hard way. She has exposed herself to the hard way. And she will understand. Please. Um, Mama, I have heard all you have said. There's no problem. It's all right. I'll be on my way now. Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, Mama, please, I want you to take this. I don't want it. You gave me the money to transport myself to the city. I don't want to burden you again. I don't want it. It's, it's fine. It's nothing. I don't know how you are managing with Juliet. <laughs> managing well. Please. I'm managing well. I'm sure you will have to buy some drugs. Just take it. No. Mama, please. <laughs> please. Let me go and get my khaki so I can drop you off. Huh? Wow. Oh my God. 
Yo, yeah, those serious. Oh. I'm very hungry. Very, very hungry. Well, luck is not on your side today because we didn't cook anything. Should I fix you something or would you rather go out and eat? Oh, no. I'm not in the mood for all these restaurant foods. And unfortunately, my sister has gone back to school. Um, by the way, how about taking you to the market? You buy some things, then you go home and cook for me. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not entering another woman's kitchen. I don't want to get myself killed. Ah, Nancy, come off it. I told you that I'm not married. I am single. I live alone with my younger sister. And she's not even around. I am single. I'm not married. Please do me this favor. Okay, but I am not going into the market with you. I'll prepare the list, give it to you, sit in the car and wait while you go and buy the things. Mm. I'm game. Okay then. <laughs> so, let me go get ready. We just take a selfie. At least let's look how it looks. Or we become a couple. Stop! Stop! What's the meaning of this now? How, how do you think my husband will feel if he sees that? Please delete it. I will delete it. Delete it now. Nancy, I said I will delete it. And I said delete it now. I said I will delete it when we're done eating. This is my phone. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you bring me here to get in between my legs? Nancy, that's too much an accusation. I'm only trying to kiss you, that's all. Is that too much to ask? Austin, I am a married woman. I know you like me and I like you too, but let's just leave it at that.
Mm. That's a perfect size. Thank you. Bye. I told you I'm a married woman. Okay. Okay. Married woman. Lie down at least. Hello, who is this? Honey, is that you? Gate. Okay, uh, um, I'm coming. Let me get the key. Yeah, I'm coming. My wife is back. Your what? My wife. She's back from Canada. Please, you have to start going. Is this some joke or something? I am not joking. I am married. Yeah, I know I lied to you, but I'm married. Please, you have to start going. Get up, get up, get up. Nancy, you have to start going. My wife must not see you here. At least I need to get my clothes. Be fast about that. Stand up. She must not see you here. Follow the back door. Let me go through the front and open the gate for her. Alright? You can change your clothes there. for the car, okay. to leave. You need to leave now. What? Are you crazy? Do you know what time it is? It is past 12. Where do you expect me to go to? But you have to go. Listen, you have to leave. My wife must not see you here. Okay? That I am what I am today is my wife. She picked me up from the gutter and cleaned me up. I wouldn't want to go back to the gutter. Please help me. Just go. You think you can lie to me and get away with it? First, it's late and I can't go out there. Secondly, for lying to me, your wife is going to know about your escapades. Please, I am begging you, be cool. Just, 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 just go. Yes, I know I lied to you, but just go. Where am I going to by this time of the night? Honey, I'm, uh, I'm coming! I'm, I'm coming! Please, I beg you with the name of God, just, just, just go. I can't go. If my wife comes in, she, she will tear us to pieces. Just... Fine.
Hello, Juan. Hey, girlfriend, how's the phone going? What phone? That idiot is married. And his wife came back this night from Canada and he, he pushed me out. I'm stranded. Jesus. Are you for real? Baby, are you all right? Okay, listen. Let me see if I can call an Uber man to come pick you up. But please, don't move away from in front of his house so that the cabman will find you. Right? All right, thank you. Okay. is open. Do you know where to invade this house? Honey, I've been tidying up this house. Look what I found outside. My nightgown. I washed it. It has a strange perfume. And you were telling me you washed it. No problem. Put it in a basket. I know what happened to all my pictures on the wall. Honey, I said I've been cleaning and dusting the entire house. I packed the picture in a room. I'll put it back in the box. That's fine, it's okay. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> Welcome. Where is your guy? I got you upstairs. Has he woken up? Uh, I don't know, but I'll call him. Go and call him now. Good morning, Andy. I know how my son. Good to see you. Good morning, Andy. How are you, Juliet? I'm fine. Thank you. Please sit down. <sighs> my son. My son, I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry for budging on you this early morning. Ah, Mama. This. It is because of the urgency of the matter. Yes. It's okay. Mama, it's okay. It's not a disturbance. Your problem is my problem. Mm. Thank you, Mama. I thank God for giving me a son in law like you. Honestly. You're not just a son in law. You are my son. <laughs> uh, like I was saying, a, a, a police woman called. She said he was, uh, your wife, my Nancy, mm -hmm. has been arrested. What? In possession of uh, firearms. Oh. Eh? Where are Are you mad? What's wrong with you? Sorry. Will you get out? What are you still doing here? Can you imagine? Nancy, yes. in possession of God. We two boys, so. Two boys. They said they suspected they went for armed robbery. Armed robbery. No, no. No, it's not. It has not been confirmed, though. Because your investigation, according to her, is still ongoing. No, I'm sure there's a mix up somewhere. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I know my Nancy. My Nancy could be very stubborn. With violence. No possible. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can swear to it. Yes. Um, Mama, please, calm down. I I will call my friend, um, Alfred. You know he's a lawyer. Okay. We'll all go to the police station and see what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy and our brothers. Hey, please, uh, have you people eating so that I can let them make breakfast? No, we let the house are very early. Okay. Now. And then... She was arrested alongside those boys and the gun was found in her possession. There's a robbery incident that took place 
not too far from where we found them. A shop owner was shot dead. <sighs> no problem, as it is now. After their statement this morning, we'll commence with our investigation. If they are not involved, no problem, we'll let them go. My daughter, the girl in question is my daughter. I raised her well. I raised her in a godly way. I know that there's a mess up somewhere. Because my daughter, I know, can never take anything that does not belong to her. Let the loan drop in. It ain't gone. No. No. Something is not right. Mama, you might be right. Your daughter might be innocent. But if you are involved with bad boys or girls or friends or late nights, keeping late nights, you can be implicated when a crime is committed where you are. But all the same, just take it easy. After our investigation, if your daughter is innocent, we will free her. I pure. Please, can we see her? <sighs> okay, you can see her for just two minutes. That's okay. Huh? Officer! Yes. Officer! Mama. Honey. I know I brought this about myself. By no means, me. But please forgive me. Please don't abandon me here. Hey! <laughs> A parent's advice will always come to bear. Is this what you want for yourself? Is this what you want for yourself? See, where you landed yourself. Now you're pleading for not to be abandoned. Is this what you promised ourselves? Is this what we told ourselves? Is this how you're going to pay us for everything we did? <laughs> um, Nancy, tell us, what really happened? I was coming back from a friend's place. I'm going back to my girlfriend's place. Hello, young man. Uh, officer, good evening, sir. All right, okay. So, from where to where? Uh, officer, we're from, the, we're from club, they come back. Okay, from club. Yes. All right. Okay, so, can I see the papers of this car? <laughs> officer, paper? Yes, papers. Officer, we'll not get time. We don't, we don't already do later. I don't need this thing. I'm here on a duty. Can I see the papers of this car right now? It's easy, now. In the house, we go. No, my dear. Be fast. Those are the papers, baby. Is everything complete? Oh. Okay, um, so can you just up the engine of the car and come down? Officer, why you go say my off engine? I don't know the paper I don't give you like this. And the papers I don't give you now, why you gonna say my, my off engine again? Officer, do not get time with the rush. Up the engine. Look, I up the, up engine. the engine. Officer, what's up now? She be don't pay you now. You don't give come you. down from this car right now. I said come down. Calm down, let me search your car right now. Hold him, hold him there! Hold him there! Who are you? Who are you? Stay here! Officer! Stay here! Officer! Stay here! Officer! 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 Officer!
Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Your hands on your back. Your hands on your back. Napati, we from That's how I found myself here. Ah. <sighs> um. Nancy, you have to be patient. No matter the pains you're going through, you have to bear it now. Until the police are done with the investigation and have a proof that you're not part of those boys. Um, uh, lady and gentlemen, let's have an unright statement, okay? It's okay. Officer! Please, I don't want you to worry too much. I am sure the police will get to the root of this matter. Okay? Just please, you don't have to cry. Please. Oh, let me say it. That did not raise my child well. What would people say that my daughter I raised well was caught with arm robbers? Mama, it's okay. Um, they need to take food to her. <laughs> no problem, Juliet and I will take food to her. Okay, it's okay. Stop crying. <laughs> Mama, it's okay. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> thank you, Alfred. It's thank okay. you. And thank you so much. You're welcome, Mama. Yeah, hello. Uh, good evening, Mr. Austin. My name is Inspector Sandra A.K. from Area Police Command. Yeah, Austin speaking. Yes, you are Austin Irabo. Okay, please. I am calling in respect of one Mrs. Nancy. Andrew. She said she left your house and was going home when she was arrested. Can you confirm that? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You mean you don't know her and you have never met her before? Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's a mistake in identity. I hope you find who you're looking for. Have a nice day. Hello? Did you just cut the call? Some people don't just know how to talk on the phone. Can you imagine? Hi, baby. Yeah. Who was that? Someone called, but it was a wrong number. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Why do you like kissing me on the forehead? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> baby. Come, you must answer me. Why do you like kissing me on the forehead? This is not adding up. Okay, I know what to do. Oh, it's cold. Just that. Hello? Yes, hello. Good evening. 
This is Inspector Sandra A.K. calling from Area Police Command. Yes, am I on to Miss Joan? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? I'm calling in respect of one Mrs. Nancy Andrew. She said she knows you. Is that right? Yes, she's my friend. She stays with me. Okay, please. I would want you to come to the police station this evening for brief chats. Sure, if that's what you want, I will. Thank you. Uh, hold on, I'm coming. Okay, just, when you get to the station, just tell them you're looking for Inspector Sandra. Okay, thank you. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Good evening, so Thank you, and you too. Look at you. Julie. Welcome. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Make yourself. Mm -hmm. Mama, what would I get for you to drink? Julia, what would you want to have? I don't want anything. Oh. I don't want anything. Okay. Beautiful place. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> you mean you've been living with Nancy? in this house all this while? Yes, Mama. She, she told me she had a little issue with her husband that she would like to stay here for a while with me. So I said, good friend, I have to let her in. You married now? Uh, not yet, Ma. Don't worry. Your own husband will find you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Uh, so all this while you've been living with her, what effort did you make to reconcile her with her husband? <sighs> Mama, I tried. I did everything I could, but you know how stubborn Nancy can be. I even quarreled with her yesterday. That was why she left here to another of her friend's house. It's okay. We actually have to pick up her belongings. Oh. Can we have them? Sure, Mama. She was arrested, right? Have yeah. you gone to visit her at the police station? Not really, Mama. I've been very busy, but my plan was to go there this evening. Okay, it's okay. Okay, Juliet, yes. please come and give me a hand so okay. we can bring out the things. She left your house to visit a friend. Do you know this friend? No, ma, she didn't tell me. Do you know any Austin, Irabo? No. Are you sure? Because that is the guy your friend said she went to visit that night she was arrested. I'm sure, ma, I don't know him. Okay. Why have you not come to visit your friend since she was arrested? <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's just that I've been very busy of late. But I was about going to go prepare something for her to eat. <sighs> okay. That will be up for now. We will let you know if we need you. Anytime, ma'am. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Better be careful, be careful of what you do. Ah, you better be careful, be careful of what you say. Ah, you Why are Nancy's friends not corresponding to her statements? <clears throat> Maybe they are lying. 
but Nancy is the one lying. We will get to there. Some people call Officer! Our Officer! Good evening, madam. Good evening. I am Inspector Sandra from police, from area police command. And here is my colleague, Felix I.K. Please, come and come in. Can I help you? I hope there is no problem. Not at all. We're here for questioning. OK. You can have a seat. Thank you, madam. Uh, madam, what is your relationship with Mr. Austin Irabo? Uh, Mr. Austin Irabo is my husband to be. We are getting married in September. Uh, madam, I understand you came back from Canada last night at about 12, past 12, precisely. You're very correct. <coughs> oh, that's my husband, Mr. Austin. Honey, come and sit down. Good evening, Mr. Austin Rabo. I am Inspector Sandra, AK. I called you earlier today. You said you don't know Mrs. Nancy. Andrew, is that correct? Yes, and I made that very clear to you on the phone. Mrs. Nancy claimed you know her. She explained this house to me and why she was here. She said you threw her out of this house last night when your wife came back at about past 12. Is that correct? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't know any Nancy. Anyway, in her statement, she said she wore pink 90 belonging to your wife. That she had to pull it and drop at the back of the kitchen. Was it not the same nightgown you told me you washed? Honey, I don't know what this is all about. I've given you my word. Believe me. Um, officers, please, you uh, uh, just leave my house. Uh, uh, just leave, 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 leave. Mr. Austin, you are I said leave, leave, please. It's you guys easy. should leave. Officer, leave my house. Can you calm down? Come and sit down. Mr. Austin, can I have your phone? My phone? Why? Why should I give you my phone? Please, sir. Can I have your phone? And I said I can give you my phone, officer. This is my privacy. Why would you tell me to give you my phone? I am repeating myself, Mr. Austin Irabo. Please, can I have your phone? And I said I wouldn't give you my phone. This is my privacy. What are you talking about? Why should I give you my phone? <laughs> Officer. Now, sir, please, can I have your phone? <laughs> my phone. It's my phone. Can I have your password, Mr. Austin? 5081. That's my password. Just I don't know what I'm talking about. Officer, I don't know. give me that phone. I don't know what you're talking about. Just open it. <laughs> you lied. You said you don't know her. What is her number doing in your phone saved as cash? 
Look at this. I know. You both called yourself severally the day before yesterday. Am I correct? The question here is, why have you been lying to me all this while? You should have just called me and told me the truth and that saves your ass. That's because his cup is full. Give me my Let me do my job. I'm going to show you. Mr. Austin Irabo, you are under arrest for lying to officers of Federal Republic of Nigeria during an investigation which is capable of subverting justice. You can hold your peace till we get to the station. You may also call in your lawyer if you wish. Officer, bring this man. Madam, thank you for your time. Honey, 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 John. Sorry for what? I have been in there calling your name in John's room. Doing what? Sam, sorry. It's not like that. Now my plates are fine. I don't see them. I don't know say John. It's finished. You don't return the plates. Now I go in the room and go collect them. The plates. You must be very stupid. I'm sorry. Now get inside. Thank you, sir. And you, when you finish eating, why don't you bring the plate inside the house? Yeah, Mr. Andy. Ah, Alfred. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Very well. I've been calling your number, but it's switched off. Yes, uh, my daughter was playing with my phone and it fell, so I was actually going out to fix it. My oh. daughter still gets a new one. Oh, well, have a good news. Yeah, I called the IPO. Okay. She said um, that Nancy is lucky. Rather, after the investigation, they discovered that um, Nancy left a certain guy's house a few minutes before she was apprehended by the police. And the guy's name is um, Austin. Yeah, Austin. Austin? Mm -hmm. And who is he? <laughs> I don't know. Women. Uh, it's okay, Andy. Come out of that. Okay. The truth is that we are getting to the end of it all. Right? But the, the problem is that the criminals keep insisting that the gun belongs to her. However, let's wait until the end of the investigation. She might be proven innocent. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed and yeah. hopefully they'll clear her name. Yeah, sure. And what about your car? Oh, I parked outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going somewhere. So let me stop by, see you and give you the good news. Thank you so much. All right. I'll drive behind you. It's okay. Thank you. All right. You good? Ah, oh. oh. sweaty man. Yes, coming. Shoma. Copper. Anything new? No, I came in this morning and I was told that uh, you allowed Mr. Austin Robo to go on bail. Yes, I did. Don't worry yourself. We will get him where we want him. No problem. Yes, yeah, come in. Sure, Officer, how is the interrogation going? One of the boys said he has something to tell you about this case. Then bring him in. Okay, Maybe he's here to tell us that Mrs. Nancy is not my husband. My 
friend. I hope you are not here to waste our time. Because if you are here to tell us that Miss Nancy Andrew is not part of you, we already know that. You boys must be wicked to say that that woman owns that gun. Professor, I, I swear I don't like the kind of dream I dreamed last night about that woman. No. So it's just better make her talk the truth now. That woman, maybe she get that gun. And she no be one of us. But no be make me come here. Get what I want to tell you. Good. I'm listening. What will I do? What exactly will I do now? I am finished. I am ruined and back to the gutter. I am back to square one. I thought with, with Tracy I had overcome poverty. Just when me and her was about to get married, you came in with your revenge and scuttled it all. Jeez! Is it that I am caught or is it that my village people are following me around? What is even happening? What's going on? Austin. Austin, can you just keep quiet and let me think? Whatever you are thinking, you better think of how to reconcile Tracy and I. I can lose her. No, I can lose her, Joy. I can lose Tracy. Austin, I was the one who connected both of you. So what's the problem? My problem is that I don't want to lose Tracy. You better do something about it. Please. Do something about it, Joanne. Please. What's the... What's that? Hold on. Are we coming? Wow, what a meeting. So both of you are friends. And from what we have from our side, it seems you also know Tracy. What a word. There is something we don't know we need to know. So you all are going with us to the station for a good round of chat. Now, can I have your phone? Can I have your phone? Madam, I said, can I have your phone? Officer. Now, can I have the phone? Officer, move this table. Shall we? Be fast about it. Yes, come in. Sean, sir. <coughs> you brought Miss Joanne. Okay. This we found her with. Who? Mr. Austin. <laughs> and it turns out that even Joanne knows Tracy very well. This is getting interesting. Bring in Austin first. Yes, sir. Mr. Austin Erabo. Initially, you denied knowing anybody. 
you deny everything. But right now, you are the main game player. It's obvious you know the game is over. If you know what is good for you, sit down and tell me the entire story from your own point of view. First, tell me your relationship with Joan and Nancy. Sit. Like you said, officer, the game is over. So I'm coming out clean. I, I have known Joanne for years. Sometimes we do get together, have fun, make love. But nothing serious is attached and she gives me money. <laughs> So you are a gigolo. Continue. What does Joan do for a living? I won't lie to you, officer. I won't say this is what she does. Joan knows everybody in this town. Both the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is getting interesting. And she look harmless. Go on, I'm listening. Sometime last year, Joanne called me on the phone that she has a job for me. She wanted to destroy a friend's marriage. So she wanted me to play as a fine boy, to seduce her friend and take uncompromising pictures and send to her husband. But when I started work on her friend Nancy, she didn't give in, so we left her. And she introduced me to Tracy and told me that if I play my card well, that she would marry me because she wanted to settle down. I met Tracy and I fell in love with her to the extent that I even agreed to marry her. Tracy traveled outside the country and from nowhere, Joan called me on the phone and asked me to go and pick up Nancy, her target for many months. Hello, Jay. Austin, where are you now? Uh, I'm at June Street. Remember our target. Nancy has just walked into our trap by herself. She's having issues with her husband and so she wants to come to stay in my place. Right now, she quarried with her sister and she's moving out to my place. Go to number 34, New Road, or New Layout and pick her. I told her a cab would come for her. Tell her this time because she needs a shoulder to cry on. All right. All right. Unpredictable. Some people we call our friends are our enemies. The heart of man 
is deeper than the ocean Some people will call our friends are our enemies Do not shatter the mirror Or tamper the treasure you have You better be careful Hello! Be careful of what you do Do you remember me? You again? Are you stalking me? I am not. Honestly, buddy, if that would make me be your friend, then I'm guilty. Ah, come on, I won't bite you. I'm just trying to help. Of course, you're safer with me than those criminal drivers that will think you just come back from abroad. Ah. See, I, what is I, I, I will take you wherever you're going to, okay? Let me help you. And I say thank you. And I want to help you. Come on. I will take you wherever you're going to, I promise. Please. You know, nature has a way of exerting itself and also human. The last time I saw you was at the supermarket. You didn't talk to me. Shortly after you had a flat tire, I was the one that came to your rescue, yet you were still unfriendly. Look at you now, by the roadside with a luggage, a very risky thing to do. Wait, must I die like Christ before you believe and see me as a friend? <laughs> You're funny. Wow. My name is Austin. I'm into oil and gas business. I'm single. What's your name? My name is Nancy and I'm married. Wow, you're married. Well, I've been looking for a married woman friend who could teach me the ethics of marriage. Yeah. So which way? New layout. I'll take you there. Why are you always frowning? Do you usually leave your basket of smiles at home? You right? Come on, bro, what are you driving? Alright? I'll take you to new layout. Where are you? Okay, 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 I'll meet you up. I'll meet you up then. Thank you. Um, this is Austin. He helped me get here. Austin, this is my friend Joan. Austin, thank you so much. You're such Joanne. a gentleman. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, wait, so 
we go inside. Mm -hmm. Austin, please, I know you wouldn't mind. Just help us bring the bag inside. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Let's go, babes. It's okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Let's come down. Thank you, Austin. I'm sorry, officer, but everything I did was on Joanne's instruction. You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you. Young, healthy, able man like you. Able bodied man. Can't you walk? Must you depend on rich women to survive? If you are my son, I cannot even stand you one second. I'm ashamed, ashamed of you right now. You've lost everything. You're going to start from scratch. That is if you walk out of here safely. Officer. Yes, sir. Take this fool out of my office. Officer. Get out! Now move it. Get me Nancy, Joan, and that OJ boy that confess. Okay, sir. How? OJ. Yes, ma'am. Repeat what you told me this morning before everybody. Ma'am. I thought I know Auntie Jane. I don't know her for long. And she'd always dash me money. So now one day she can't come call me. Say make I help her clean somebody. Hmm? Clean somebody? What do you mean by clean somebody? is to kill, assassinate. Go on. I tell them, say, I know fit kill. So I never killed before. But I, I guess somebody will go help me run them. So now she come to say, make we arrange them. So now later she come pay. Come call me for phone again. Come tell me say we are that my friend there. I tell her say we there for club. So now she come tell me say make I carry that my friend. We could go for upper street number ten. Say get one woman will stand for there. We we'll go carry her, kill her. Kill him. Who be the woman who does make you kill? Now this woman there. Okay, officer. Take OJ back to the cell. Stand up, yes sir. Uh, oh, nah, move it! Now there goes work. Move it! Nancy. I called you here for you to listen to OJ and also ask your friend here why she wants to kill you. Thank you so much, Ma. I don't know. I don't know what to say. To think that my best friend planned all these things. is very shocking. I mean, I don't know why she wants me dead. How would you know? How would you know? Are you not the one who's happily married? Huh? You know 
this wrong to me to tell me how your husband treats you like a queen, how he makes love to you, how you have a happy home, this, that. Nancy, the only opportunity I had to get married, you ruined it. Have you forgotten? He proposed. He did. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Finally, I'm getting my. Let's go. 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 Oh, Nasi. Wow, Nasi. Nice to meet you. Same here. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, come sit down. Thank you. Look at you. <laughs> You're looking good. Oh. <laughs> I guess your husband is doing a great job. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I even look bad yourself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, baby, I think I need to get something for us to marry, you know. Sure, sure. Okay? Mm. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. So how is the family? The family is fine, thank God. Well, I... Time's work, right? <laughs> work is good. Work is good. Thank God. Well, I heard you have a daughter. How is she doing? Oh, yes. She's doing fine. I guess she's as beautiful as you are. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Here we go. Okay. Ah. All right. Well, let me help you with that. Okay, baby. Come on. Yeah, sit down, sit down, sit down. Come on, sit down. <laughs> um, you didn't get the... Okay. Ah. Let me open these. All right. Honey, yeah, this is for you. Okay. Mm. All right. More, baby. More? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Nasi. Uh, no. this is... I, I don't do alcohol. Come on. I'm here now. Come well, on. Just... Yeah, Joan, you know I don't do this. Come on. Nancy, Come on, Nasi. A glass of wine would kill you. Mm. Come on. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just a little. Mm -hmm. And this is for me. Then we make a toast. All right, let's. Yeah. Nasi, come on. Make, make a, a toast. toast for us. Yeah. More yeah. life, more money, success. Stress free marriage. <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> you got mm. it. What's this better? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, maybe let me go in there and get something for us to eat. Okay, alright. I'll be right back. Alright, sure. Something very fast. Alright. So not see it. Doesn't taste bad. Doesn't. Hope you're good. Yeah, yeah. Alright. <sighs> I guess you like it. Yeah, it's nice. <clears throat> Can I get more? You want more? I guess if possible. Sure. Ah, let me give you another. All right. Just drink up. All right. I guess you like it. Yeah, it's nice. So how is work and everything? Good. <laughs> Only come in the fast with the food. You finish us already. Yeah, it's the night. The, the the wine is very nice. I don't know if I can get more. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Give you more. Okay. Okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it seems the ground is getting higher. The ground is... <laughs> right? Is it so you don't... If you don't drink? Does it mean when you go to school you didn't socialize, go out to party with friends? <laughs> Well, I wasn't much of the outgoing type like Duan. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, Duan liked to party here and there. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. And she likes to go out with them guys. They just come in and go out just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> and I. And at the point she got she got pregnant. She got pregnant? Yeah. Did she have a baby? Do I have a baby? Nah. <laughs> she removes them like she's taking off her clothes. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the point they told her she was not going to be able to have a baby again. Yeah. So, tell me more, tell me more. Um, they told her she can't get pregnant again, yeah. Because the lining of the womb or something, like, everything has become bad. Um, Nancy, so, Nancy, yeah. come, come, come give me a hand with the kitchen. Come. Oh, okay. Come here. Yeah. Honey, I need to see you now. The food is almost ready, so that's it. Then I said we need to talk now. I'll just tell you what I'm saying. I mean now! of life you lived and the consequences you had so many abortions and and it affected your womb no baby that's not true were you actually listening to me drunk don't touch me she, she's drunk baby she's drunk you that's not true so you wanted me to get married to you, right? You wanted me to get married to you and rely on miracles to, to have you give me babies. You must be joking. No, baby, that's not true, baby. It did happen. It did, it did happen. It did happen. Please don't listen to her. She, she's wrong. Baby, don't, don't. Can I have the ring? Baby, please, it hasn't got into that. She's drunk, she doesn't know what she was saying. Can I have the ring? Baby, please, I'm not going to die. It's over. Yes. Told me why he broke up with you anytime I asked. Besides, I couldn't. I didn't even know I said all those things. I'm sorry, Joan. I made up my mind not to ever tell you. All I wanted was to destroy you and your marriage system when you killed my joy. Huh? Who killed?
killed your joy. You killed your joy yourself with your malicious lifestyle. Having series of abortion. Instead of you to take responsibility for your action, you are here looking for who to blame to the extent of trying to kill her. You better go and look for a good lawyer that will save you from your attempted murder uh, uh, charges. Officer. Yes, sir. Take them back. Let her write her statements. Because first thing tomorrow morning, we are charging them to court. Okay, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Please, just leave my office. Go on. Let's go. Move it. So people we call our friends are our enemies. The heart of man is deeper than the ocean. Some people will call our friends our enemies. Hello, DPO. Do not sure, sir. Are you in the office? Okay, I'm coming to brief you about the case. I'm on my way, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your effort in ensuring the police speed up their investigation. The IPO told me. Now listen to me. I did what I did for my daughter because I don't want her growing up and be told that her mother is an ex convict. I also did it for your mother because I know what it will do to her. If I turn my back on you. So don't thank me. Thank God that you are out. I'm sorry. I have learned my lessons. After prostituting yourself? No, I didn't. I made it clear I'm married. Why should I believe you? It's the truth. So you see? Now the reverse is the case. I admit it. You cannot get what you can't give. Unforgiveness and lack of trust begets unforgiveness and lack of trust. You reap what you sow. Please, I need to leave.
better be careful Be careful of what you do oh, You better be careful Be careful of what you say oh, You better be careful Be careful of steps you take oh, You better be careful Be careful of who you trust The heart of man is unpredictable Some people we call our friends are our enemies The heart of man is deeper than the ocean Some people we call our friends are our enemies Do not shatter the mirror Or tamper the treasure you have You better be careful Be careful of what you do So do not shatter the mirror Or tamper the treasure you have You better be careful Be careful of what you do Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. I saw you praying last night. Yes. There's nothing more to do than to pour out my heart to God. It's okay. I lost a good husband and a sweet home. It's okay. You've cried unto God. You've told him everything. He knows our minds. He knows our heart intent. He knows our fears and our worries. He'll take care of everything. You don't have to worry, okay? I shall freshen up and catch some sleep. It is for my daughter. Hello, Andy. Good morning, Juliet. I hope all is well. All is not well. What is it? Is Mama okay? Is it Mama that you care about or your wife? Well, depending on you, Mama is not fine. I called because of Nancy, your wife. <sighs> um, Juliet, I will call you back. Yes, hold on. Ah, Uncle, please come in. Good morning. How are you, sir? Please uh, make yourself comfortable. Uncle, when you called and said you were coming, you refused to tell me why. Yes. Andy. Sir. I want you to look at me straight in the eyes. 
as I ask you this question. When are you bringing back your wife? Come and follow. Come and play with us. My baby, I will join you soon, okay? Come and play with Auntie, alright? I'm going to get my keys so I can buy you ice cream. I know you love ice cream, right? I'll buy you big ice cream. Now give me five. Give me blow and a kiss. Mwah. All right, go and play with auntie, yeah? Okay? Take care of her, yeah? Outside. Eh, what you talk? Talk him again. I said, make you help me carry the dustbin. Throw away and far outside. As we wait, I come this side to do that to carry the dustbin. Eh? They go throw away. Ah uh ah. -uh. John, now me you they talk to. Why your voice can't change overnight? What you happen? Why my voice not go rise? It's like you don't get respect, Abby. I, I no blame you. Ah uh ah. -uh. John, I offend you. I said, make you help me carry the dustbin. Throw away outside. Nobody they helped me before. Eh? Uh, so. You don't become constitution, say every time I'm going to help you, they throw away those bin outside there. Eh? No, tell me now. Now, what do you mean? Now, I'm going to carry the those bin, they go throw away. Oh, okay, okay. John, now, now I understand. John, John, what is it now? So, all this while, where they claim love and gentleman, they follow me up and down. Now, because say, you won't enter my garden. Chop my apple. Now nah, you don't succeed. You don't the carry shoulder up for me, Abby. I beg you. Come on here. I want you to say that your grand way they do. Now your garden go be paradise. I'm not saying nothing, nothing. Nothing. It they call they do this thing. What I ask you? As I visit your paradise, it's not sweet you. Tell me. It's not sweet you. 
Come they follow me up, they follow me up. Now I don't visit at night. Come they, come they talk nonsense. Why don't say, man, I pity you. Man, I pity you. Nonsense. I see even nice with you. Man, I just help you. Clear, clear the garden. Now I'm saying about thing I do. What about if I leave from there, you can't grow, can't grow bushy. What do you want me to do? I just help you. Come they, come they talk nonsense. Come on. Nonsense. I'm here to take my wife home. Be careful of what you... 